Hi, my beautiful angels. This is Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your general angel card reading for today, Wednesday, the 18th of September, and how quickly time is going, right? So anyway, I have already selected the cards for you, as you can see. If you are after your own personal reading or twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, please go ahead and click that subscribe button for me now. Okay, guys, let's get started. What is it that the angels would like us to know on this wonderful day? The first three cards are from the messages from your angels. Look at that. We have a beautiful card to start off with, and it is called Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. Okay, so for many of you many of you out there, your focus is on youth, children, your own children. Um, they're saying to you, this is your life purpose, okay? Whether it is to be a parent, whether it is to be a teacher, kindergarten, uh, preschool, um, childcare, or you know, primary or secondary or college however it applies to you. For others of you, this you may have been considering doing some youth work to help children who are struggling here, volunteering. Yeah, just take it how it applies. Now, I am picking up also that for some of you, you have had a child that was stillborn or a miscarriage um, who is surrounding you at the moment. So they're saying to you, music, look at this little girl, look at this little angel as she's holding a harp here. The same guys, music soothes your soul. So it's very important that you are taking some time to just relax, listen to music, um, and know that your loved one is watching over you, okay? But if you've been thinking about a career change, uh, your, your focus has been on children, well, perhaps this is confirmation for you that you need to look further into this, doing some study, or for some of you, you've been trying to conceive a child. I feel that this will be positive moving forward. For some of you, you're giving birth to a little girl, um, but pink is about love, okay? So self-love, it represents the beautiful rose quartz. So this is about unconditional love. So love yourself unconditionally, okay? Don't be hard on yourself. Be kind, be gentle, and be patient with yourself. And music is great to lift your mood um, and to lift your soul as well. Omega is the next card. Victory. Your desires come to fruition. Keep up the good work. Okay. This card is confirming that what it is that you've prayed for, you've wished for, you've asked for, it's coming to you. Okay. So just have faith and hope and trust in the universe that it will be delivered to you. This could be in the form of a new relationship. Uh, this could be a twin coming back. This could be children conceiving, as I mentioned, a new job. Um, it could also be to do with your health, healing yourself, physical ailments, healing your emotions too because it is a blue card and blue does represent emotions blue is also the color of your throat chakra so this is about you getting your point across speaking your truth but doing it in a loving and assertive way okay for some of you you've had difficulty communicating trying to get through to someone who isn't accessible perhaps um, trying to get your point across here but I feel that you will have an opportunity to do this look at you you're standing on your own two feet you're standing tall and you're standing in your power so this is about you getting your power back okay the next card is Indriel another blue card you are a light worker God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants so yes you have a like a life purpose here on earth that is to be of service to others. You exude this beautiful white light around you when people are in your presence. They pick up on this beautiful healing energy. For some of you, you for some of you, you may be healers, you may be um, mediums, you just have this beautiful kindness about you, and people are drawn to that. People are drawn to your light. So keep being you, keep shining your light. This could even be as simple as you making people laugh, okay? Um, you promote this wonderful light, you lift up people's energy, so keep doing that, all right? With your humor, with your kindness. The next card is from the Crystal Angels, that's a long word, Rhodochrosite. Okay, Rhodochrosite. Look at all the beautiful gold in this card. This card is saying be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So for some of you, you've been dealing with a lot of health issues. 
um, emotional turmoil, relationship breakdowns, changing job, changing career, changing home, uh, issues around the family, could be legalities here too. So yes, you have been going through a lot, so don't push yourself too hard. Take some time out. Just let yourself um, receive here. Let yourself just rest, okay? Be gentle. Don't push it. Don't push yourself too far. If your body's telling you to slow down, then listen to that, okay? But you are surrounded by gold, which does mean that you are divinely protected. You are divinely guided. You will be abundant. Um, you will come into money. I feel that there is opportunity around you, okay? But it's also about you taking that opportunity to take some time out, okay? So ensure you've got balance as well. The next two cards are from the magical messages from the fairies. We have a new home. For some of you, definitely, you're going through a major change, major shift here. You're moving out of a home into another one. You might be ending a relationship and forming a new one. Okay, so I feel that there is a new beginning coming for you. This movement, though, will usher in positive new energy. This is really good. It is a purple card, so just know that you are divinely guided by Archangel Michael, and he is surrounding you and protecting you during this change, okay? For some of you, you've been considering moving. This could be also geographically, too. For some of you guys, you're moving further than you'd like or further um, away from family perhaps to pursue a new career or a relationship okay but there is new home on the cards for you the next card is assertiveness now i did mention this before with omega yes stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to so say yes when your heart is saying yes all right so set your boundaries here be clear on what it is that you um you want in your life okay so if someone is asking you to do something you don't feel comfortable, then say no. Be assertive. But this is about you respecting your boundaries, okay? And your body will benefit from this so, so much, okay? You're not going to feel so run down. This is about you being clear on, on what it is that you want, being clear on your goals, your dreams, your desires. And if something doesn't feel right, don't be forced to do it. Say no. The next card is from the butterflies. We have adult children. For some of you, we have two children cards here. For some of you, you've been focusing on children. Um, this could also be academically helping your children. This could be financially as well. Okay, adult children buying a car, buying, uh, paying for school fees, college, whatever it may be. Some of you may be concerned in regards to children. I feel that there's a lot of emotions running high here with children as well. So just be gentle with your child. Um, but definitely life purpose does involve around children, even adult children. For some of you, your children might be leaving the nest and going to a new home. Take it how it applies. In regards to romance, you have forgiving and learning here. This is something that may be difficult for some of you, but it's important. It's an important step for you to move forward, to experience unconditional love. It's time to forgive and to grow and to learn from the experiences that you've had with in relationships. Now, this is lovers, partners. This is friendships, family. Take it how it applies, okay? But I feel that, yeah, for some of you, you're going through this stage of forgiving and learning and just moving forward. That way, you're giving yourself a break here. It's... It takes more energy to hold on to hurt and anger, okay, than to forgive and move forward. The next card is playfulness. I feel like some of you um, want to be playful or there is someone coming back who's going to express some childlike behavior here and wants to be playful with you. This can definitely be a twin. This could be someone from your past. But it's important that you aren't so serious about life, okay, so serious about love too. Enjoy those playful moments because you don't get that many in, um, in life. But when you do, it's so lighthearted and it's so uplifting and so joyful uh, for your heart and your soul, okay? And the next card is engagement. For some of you, you're going to be uh, engaged or there will be a proposal coming your way. So that's very exciting. Someone wants to commit to you and your relationship so that's something that you've been praying and you've been waiting for, and you will be victorious. This is very, very positive. Okay, so I feel that for some, you may be receiving an invitation in the mail, a party coming up that's exciting. Um, you're going to be announcing it. 
Um, it could be on social media. Um, but yeah, there is a celebration coming up. So that's very, very exciting. For others of you, yes, your love life will be um, taking a new direction here. Perhaps you may feel like your commitment is being tested um, and you want this commitment from your partner, something you've been waiting for, but it, it is coming, okay? Now, the last card from the heart and soul, look at that. Beautiful divine feminine there, sitting um, so much pink, so much orange. This is really all about unconditional love um, and this is all about trusting your gut to the sacral chakra. You are intuitive, okay? But this is a beautiful divine feminine, so definitely can relate to the twin flame path but the message i'll read it out to you something will be revealed in a dream or through someone you trust the information sheds light on something that has remained hidden from you for some time suddenly the missing piece of the puzzle appears and you are able to see the bigger picture oh okay so yes you are going to get the answers that you've been seeking all right, something's going to be revealed, something that has been hidden from you, something that perhaps you thought was going one way, but in actual fact, you didn't have all the facts, okay, but you will soon. All right, so nothing is what it seems. Ensure that you're getting all the information, and you will be, so pay attention to your dreams, okay? And the number for this reading is a two and a five, which equals lucky number seven. Now, this can be July energy, this could be um, Cancer Leo, so water fire. Um, also, seven could be in your house number, it could be the seventh day of a month, it could be a seven-year-old child, seven people involved in a family. Again, take it how it applies. But guys, that is your general angel card reading for today. Thank you so much for those of you who have tuned in, and don't forget to hit the subscription button and like and share my videos. And many angel blessings to you all. Thanks, guys.